What do you think about, you know, Drake's comments towards Joe Budden about being a failure? Um, I feel like he threw me a straight. <laughs> I caught a straight, you know what I'm saying? Because I love talking about hip hop. I think that it's a dope progression, a natural progression in the evolution of an MC's career to jump behind the microphone and start speaking on the game as a commentator, just like they do in the NBA and NFL. When players retire, I think it's dope. Um, you know, bro, Trent, I've interviewed Eminem, Snoop Doggy Dog, Rakim, Tech Nine, Jermaine Dupree, all these people that I've talked hip hop with. And it's, I felt like he, I was like, ouch. I felt like he shot at me with that, even though he wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It was like, dang, dog, we can't even do that. So, no, I don't think Joe is a fell rapper who um, turned into a podcaster. I feel like he's somebody who, along with people like Taxstone, which, you know what I'm saying, they pioneered hip-hop podcasting behind the great late, you know, Combat Jack. I read the paragraph, you know, that um, Drake left for Joe, and I thought to myself, those last two lines, those are the reasons why he probably should have just ignored whatever Joe said. He said, basically, I own a jet and you ride first class on special occasions. I own a jet, you ride first class. I have more money than you. So my whole thing is, okay, if all that matters is money and material things and you got this big you know, platform, 140 plus million IG followers, then why are you even paying attention to what Joe Button is saying? And I'll tell you why he's paying attention. And this is for the next generation because a lot of the messaging and that message that he left for Joe had a lot to do with the next generation. This is for the next generation. Skills matter, respect from your peers matter. Because if they didn't, Drake wouldn't even have answered Joe Button. If those things did not matter, he wouldn't have because he has everything else. He's one of the biggest artists in the world. You know what I mean? So. Him just responding to Joe gives Joe the power that Joe probably wanted. He's not going to get in there and rap. You know what I mean? People want Joe to rap. He ain't doing it. You feel me? Like, what's it going to be, a tag team? Joe and Parks versus Drake and OVO 40? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that ain't happening. He could just make a podcast and make way more money than he could making a diss record. He already dissed them five times. You know what I'm saying? Like, they like each other, though. They They really care about what each other think that's what i don't think the fans are getting about joe budden and drake they actually care what each other thinks because they're fans of each other i don't want to see nobody do something that their heart is not in then you're just going to give us a half-hearted attempt joe he's one of the trailblazers when it comes to podcasting in, in the hip-hop space and he's going to go do what he does best and that's what he does best right now he's going to go in there and that's a different type of bars. He's going to try to give them his opinion, what he feels. And, and it's going to be a good look for him. And, and Drake, you know what I'm saying? He's going to sell a ton of records. He's, gonna, he's still selling out arenas. Um, you know, whenever he's ready to, to give y'all a 444, 444 that everybody been waiting on, he'll do it. But until then, why don't y'all start looking at some new artists, man? I'm tired of talking about the same damn artists all the time. 